What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is the day before import face off. So I'm gonna go out and uh, just detail the car because I had to drive it yesterday and I should have recorded it, but I was having too much fun driving that car. I haven't driven that car in six months. <laughs> so I just wanted to take it all back in. I had to relearn it. Um, but yeah, I gotta clean it up. I had to go get the oil change because if you let a car sit for three months, you have to change that oil. So when I was driving it to, you know, to the, to get my oil changed, I was noticing smoke coming out the back of the car. I'm like, yeah, that's that's that, that's the oil. It's the oil is bad. All that moisture and you know, by getting hot and cold and not moving at all, is that oil was done. So I got that changed. Everything went off smoothly. Now what I didn't like is when I was driving a car, it's always a cop car. They always giving me that nasty side eye. Like I'm not supposed to be driving that car. Like, whatever, man. My cars, are both the Subaru and the Mitsubishi are paid for. I own those cars. So I don't know why the hell they constantly looking at me all nasty and shit. Like, what the fuck is he doing driving that car? I bought him. What the fuck? <laughs> but... Other than that, you know, I, I drove it out because I had to, uh, I had to drive it so the oil can, you know, make its rounds through the car and the motor and whatnot. And I also had to drive it so that alternator could charge that battery because I had to jump it the day before yesterday. But after I jumped it, it still good. The battery's still brand new. It's just that, uh, you know, by sitting it, it'll die. The battery was dead, but the cells were still alive. So I jumped it, came right on, <clears throat> came right on, no problem. So I drove it. Everything went smoothly. Now, I was kind of scared because when I was driving, I was hearing all this clunking and, and stuff. <laughs> and that comes from, the car is flexing. It hasn't been moved in six months, so the car is flexing and whatnot. And it was making all these weird noises. But that did stop. So, my, uh, my worries went all the way down to zero, so I didn't have any worries. Um, I wanted to try to take off that fender liner. But I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I might just leave the fender line on there and take, cause right, cause I got a whole bunch of other stuff to do today. Um, I just wanna try to detail the car first. Um, if I have the time, I'm gonna snatch the fender liner out. If not, I'm gonna just leave it in. Um, I talked to somebody yesterday and they knew I was excited for the car season, like the car shows and whatnot. And they was like, so how do you feel about uh, Tuna Evolution? My smile went from this to this. <laughs> Let me explain. Um, I'm registered for for some other shows already. Um, I've been getting I got denied three times from uh, Tuna Evolution, and also like by me going to Tuna Evolution, I kept seeing the same cars over and over and over, and. If you personally know me, you know that I get tired of, of seeing and doing the same things over and over. And it's, for example, I I'm into martial arts. I, I do martial arts, and the reason why I stop going to to the classes is because, I mean, let's not get it twisted. I still train my ass off every day. I still do this stuff. I, I my my background in martial is extensive. I still do it. But the reason why I, I kind of like stepped away is because I kept doing the same thing over and over. It's like I know this already. Show me something new. And when I when I did get shown something new, it was like, oh snap! You know, I was I was hyped. It was something new. It was fresh, and I would learn that. And it's like, okay, on to the next thing. And then I'm now I'm doing what I just recently learned over and over. It's like, okay, I can do this at home. Like I need I want to I need something fresh. Um, but then again, not everybody in that, you know, the classes I was going to, not everybody had the, the learning ability, if you will, like me, I can learn stuff in an instant. I learned whole forms of martial arts in a single day that would take people damn near a month to learn. So it, I'm just a fast learner. That's why I'm just a really fast learner. But as far as cars go, like just Seeing the same thing over and over, it, it tends to get boring in a sense, man. Because, like, don't get me wrong, I love the community. I, I love that shit. 
I go to the shows because I'm, a, I'm an enthusiast. I'm part of the, the culture. And, and I just love the culture. But when you see the same thing that you saw year after year after year, it's like, oh, okay, like, dude, what, what's going on? We need some variety here. We can't keep... Uh, come on, man. <laughs> and I'm not saying this... I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to sound like salty because I got denied... I'm okay with that. I don't. I don't care about that. In fact, I don't even want to win anything at the shows. I just like being there at the shows with the the Lancer because a lot of people that own the Lancer they don't want to modify it because it's not an Evo. Like, dude, I've had like I said before, I've had Evo owners talk to me about the car. I've had even the people that own the upper echelon GTRs like the R35s. They came and spoke to me about the car. And they, was, they all basically said the same thing. Well, I know the GTR owner, one of the GTR owners that I spoke to, he said the same thing. He said, you don't really see uh, regular Lancers. People always get an Evo. I said, yeah, that's what makes me different. I don't, like I said, I could have I bought an Evo. I just, everybody has one. I Like I said, I like to be different. Another example, when I ordered the wheels for the Subaru, dude swore he swore up and he even said he was like dude i was gonna look up wrx sti you said 2.5 rs i'm like yeah he's like dude that's a rare model i'm like i know <laughs> so and i'm not even gonna take the badge off i'm gonna leave the badge on the car that says 2.5 rs so yeah dude just so he was like dude just apply you might get in this year i'm like i don't know man it's like they, well, we got like 40, <clears throat> 44 days left until the show. And I just didn't have the desire to register. I was going to go film it, but I just didn't have the desire to register my car. So, he was like, dude, just do it. Just do it. I'm like, okay, whatever. I, it's not going to be this. It's going to be the following week. Because right now, I, don't, I, I used all my uh, extra funds and whatnot getting prepared for import face-off. But... It'll be another week. It'll probably be still be like a month out before the show happens. So I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll do it just to see what happens. But if I get denied, I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna register for any more of their shows. I'll still go to check them out and film them. I might not even stay as long as I normally do because I normally stay until the show is over with. But if there's not no type of variety of cars, I'm, I'm just not gonna stay. I'm gonna go get some footage and I'm gonna come back home. But we'll see what happens. But for right now, I'm about to go get something to eat. And I got to start detailing the OZ. So let's get to it. Well, guys, she is all cleaned. Right, it was a whole bunch of dust in the motor. Cleaned all of that out. So just a quick wipe down. It was shining like new. I do have to get another filter, though. I need one of these. I got to get another one. I'm going to clean this one first and see if I can get it clean. If not, I'm actually, I'm gonna just order another one anyway. But I got the wheels. Everything's all clean. Yes, sir. And I'm sitting here. I was done with this about maybe 10 minutes, but I was just sitting here contemplating and just, you know, just looking at the cars, listening to music. Um, I uh, kind of wanted to, to, to give people, my, like my whole thing is to give people some type of inspiration that if you feel like you really don't I, how can I explain it's hard for me to explain like if you have a car and you just got that feeling in the back of your head like I can't modify this I can't do anything with this you need to cut that shit out cut that shit out a lot of people looked at this car I was the only one that saw the potential that this car had I was the only one so what ended up happening is people was like, dude, this, this car, you can't, I wouldn't even do anything with it. I don't see what you could do with it. Everybody said that. Now I just, I did like a complete overhaul. Now everybody loves the damn car. I'm like, see that, that's just it. If you see the potential in something, go ahead and do it. Let me close this because I don't have to go in here anymore. If you see the potential in a car, just go ahead and do it. Just, just modify it. Close this as well. Now I know this video is gonna be hella short. What I'm gonna end up doing 
it's just adding this to the actual import face off vlog. So, but yeah, I was just sitting here just, just looking at the car like, dude, I actually, I, I don't have mommy and daddy's money. So I, you know what I'm saying? It took me a while to do this. Both of these cars. I got this car in October and I started working on it the same month. And the car is nearly complete. Like I said, this is a budget build. It's not meant to be show uh, ready or nothing like that. I, I do have something for the gap. Just 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 get just be patient. Just be patient. I do have something for that. But the car is finished. The only other thing I'm thinking about doing to the Subaru is getting a uh, STI hood with the hood scoop because to me it's, it's just practical. Because like I said, that when air goes in there, it it helps keep that engine bay cool. But this car was bone stock when I got it. And now I'm it's registered for shows. I can won a couple of trophies off of it. And before y'all hoes me about anime, I did start back watching anime. I had to get myself back into it. This is from Tokyo Ghoul. That's from Demon Slayer. That's the next anime I'm watching. I had to reacquaint myself with anime. I started watching uh, Desert Punk again. I forgot how funny that damn show was. It's called Sunabozu, but... In America, it's called Desert Punk. I highly recommend that anime. Check that out. That shit is hilarious. In fact, me and my friends almost got in trouble one time. We was watching that shit late at night. We was cracking up at that shit. So, yeah. But, yeah, man. This car came... I thought this car came a long way. This only took... What was it? October, November, December, January, February, March, April. This, half a year. Just to get it to look like this. This took half a year. This took five years. And that's one that's one thing that people have to understand if you're on the outside looking in. Especially like if you if you go to car shows and people judge your car, you know, even if it's the actual judges of the show, don't give a fuck about what they think. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't worry about that. You know the trials and tribulations you went through to get your car the way you wanted it to look. So that's my whole thing. Like going to these cars I don't care about winning nothing I don't care about that only thing I like and want is the exposure that's it now if I win something okay cool but I mean I doubt if this win any big show like import face off anyway because you know it's it's not a Evo so even though we got this car in the states before the Evo came to the states so let's do your own research. You'll, you'll, you'll know that. <laughs> this was here first. And for a lot of y'all that don't know, these cars, the, the base model Lancers and OZs, they made the car in Too Fast, Too Furious look good because these were the stunt cars. Do your research. Look it up. I'm not lying. <laughs> so, hey, it is what it is. But, yeah, man, I'm just, that's just a little rant that I kind of wanted to get off my chest you know as, as i'm sitting here just thinking about it, I'm like maybe i should talk about this stuff build build your car man don't care don't give two fucks about what anybody think so just build build that shit man the results you will be satisfied with i gotta take this thing off of here this thing been on here since clean culture last year that was like the little uh <laughs> sticker to let people know that you were in that little meat or whatever i gotta take that off Oh, I might just leave it on. I don't know. Hell, it might give me 0.25 horsepower. But, yeah, man. Like I said, build your car. Build that shit. Don't, don't care what anybody thinks. Trust me. Trust me on this. I'm telling you this from experience. Build that shit. Okay, we do have one minor test. The cars are squared away. I got it covered up just in case it rains. Cause like I said, I got a leak in here somewhere. So, cars all covered up. Engines all cleaned off. Now the final test. I put a full tank of gas in this car yesterday. And remember when I was doing a fuel tank repair? I used this stuff called Quick Steel. You can find it at AutoZone, Advanced Auto, O'Reilly's, wherever. Any auto parts store, you can probably find that stuff. Somebody told me that it worked. I put the stuff on and it didn't leak before. But then again, remember I told you I drained all the gas out of the car. I mean, obviously you won't get all the gas out, but I got most of the gas out and I put it in a Subaru. So yesterday I went and got a full tank of gas. 
Now let's see if there's any leakage. The ceiling don't look wet. Let's pull out this cardboard and see. Hang on, give me one second. God damn it. No leaks. So that stuff, it works. Oh, thank God I just saved myself 400 bucks, man. <laughs> oh, God. No leaks. We are all set for import face-off. Only thing left to do is charge this contraption. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'll do that before I go to sleep. I ain't going to forget. Because I'm going to bed early tonight because I got to be up early. Because I think the roll-in is at, at 9 o'clock. And I got, I got like an hour and a half, maybe two hours of driving to do so. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be going to bed early tonight. Get that charged up, and we'll be all set. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Um, everything's all squared away. I'm happy with that. Um, when I was editing this video, I noticed that it was longer than I expected. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put the video out today. Like, it's Saturday the 1st. I'm gonna edit it and just put the video out. Um, I know I've been putting out a lot of videos as of late because I had the time to do so. Um, eventually I'm gonna go back to my regular, uh, schedule, upload a meet or a show on, uh, Wednesday, and the vlog of that meet or show will be on Friday. That way I can continue my regularly up, cause I normally upload every Friday, but I switched it to Wednesday, since the car season started, I switched it to Wednesday and Friday, cause I, the meets are Saturday, I spend Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, you know, just to give me some edit room, so... Yeah, other than that, I will see y'all in the next video. Deuces!